What's up guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a new episode of Done Deals, completed transfers for this summer transfer window. We've got like 27 or 28 players to cover today and there are a fair few big names as well guys. So if we could smash 2,000 likes, that would be absolutely awesome. In the comments below, let me know you think has been the best signing of this episode and if you're to my channel, click that subscribe button for daily FIFA content. Also, if you missed my previous video from today, that will be down below in the description box. Go check that out. I actually a squad board around a few team of the season players. And also, I forgot to mention, these are actually in order of completion. So I think the first two were completed on Sunday and it goes all the way through into the latest today. And since we've got so, so many to cover, then the first one is going to the Frenchman, Claudio Boivu. He's actually joined Lyon uh, from Guingamp in France. Around 5 million euros. It's not a big fee at all. Uh, but I think he got 17 goals last season in the Liga 1. And with this transfer, we get so, so many perfect links on FIFA uh, this year and next year. We've got Lacazette, we have got Fakir, we've got Tolisso and Gonlons. Now that we've got a German by the name of Maximilian Beister, he has left Hamburg to join Mainz on a free transfer. In terms of FIFA, it's quite a good one. It opens up a few more links as well and now we are moving on to Mitchell Langrak leaving Borussia Dortmund to join Stuttgart the fee is just over three million pounds he's actually gone there to replace uh, I think it's Ulrich who has gone to Bayern Munich and now we have got uh, Paulinho who's left Tottenham to go to China the club he's gone to then are going to be called Guangzhou Evergrande I actually believe there's a few players have gone over there into China uh, that will feature in this episode but they got around 9.9 million pounds for him and considering he was a massive flop that is not a bad uh, recuperation for him then we've got Petr Cech finally making that move to Arsenal he left Chelsea for around 10 million pounds. It's a great, great sign for Arsenal. He's kind of the Edwin van der Sar. You've probably heard that quite a lot, but uh, when Manchester United signed Edwin van der Sar, he was uh, pretty old. He's actually a little bit older than Petr Cech, to be honest, but Petr Cech brings so, so much experience and uh, definitely a massive, massive name for them to get. And now we have got Andrea uh, Bertolacci. He's actually joined AC Milan. I'm not going to lie. I don't watch much Italian football. It seems that he's joined for 17.6 million pounds after just a few days ago joining Roma for 7 million. I'm really confused by that one, but nevertheless, uh, Roma have made profit, it seems, and and AC Milan have paid a big, big amount. And we've now got another player that's actually moved to China. This time it's Denver Bar, leaving Bishik Tass in Turkey to join Shanghai at Shenua, uh, who I think are the team that Drogba and Anelka went to a few years ago. Uh, they paid £11.4 million for the striker, and he'd actually done very well last season in Turkey. But again, it's another player that's not going to be in FIFA next year, unless they actually do get the league, which would be pretty cool if they added it. Then we've got Orlando Sa. Um, again, I've not actually heard of this guy, but he used to play for Fulham, I do believe. And today, or the last couple of days, he has joined Reading from Legge of Warsaw. Um, for around one, one to two million pounds so it's quite a big fee for a championship club and now we have got Giovanni Sio absolute god on FIFA and he has joined the French team Rene Rene or Rene I'm not actually sure how you say the club name but either way he is a uh, good player on FIFA and he is also a free transfer and now we have got Felix Klaus he has joined Hanover 96 from a Freiburg for around 1.5 million pounds uh, not seen too much of him to be honest but I just saw it as a confirmed transfer now we've got Lucas Castro who has joined uh, Chievo from a Catania for around 3 million pounds uh, again not too sure how much he's actually worth Worth. and uh, we've got Mohamed Sissoko former Liverpool player another player uh, in fact has actually gone to China and just like Demo Bai has gone to the same team of Shanghai Shenua uh, from Levante on a free transfer and now moving on we have got Kuzmanovic who has left Inter Milan to join FC Basel for an undisclosed fee and now we've got a young French player by the name of Baluli who has left Lyon to join AS Monaco uh, for around 3.5 million euros which converts around 2.5 million pounds and after him we have got Brian Linton a very good player on FIFA the Dutch winger has joined FC Groningen uh, for around 750,000 pounds again it's, it, these are a lot of these are random ones to start off with there are some big names coming up and after him we have got Lucas Denios who actually used to play for Inter Milan back in the day and he has joined the German club uh, Frankfurt that deal is worth around 2.2 million pounds and these next two are signs from Marseille first I've got Karen Rekic who was actually out on loan last season to a PSV uh, he's actually on loan from Manchester City as well he's now moved to Olympic Marseille for around 5 million euros it's a deal in principle and that is complete over the next couple of days another another signing out on permit now for Marseille okay Campos. Again, it says deal in principle, but it does not mention a fee whatsoever. But he's actually on loan there last season from AS Monaco. And now we have got Miranda. This one is confirmed that he's done a medical and stuff by Inter Milan, and it should be completed by the time this video is out. And he then has left Atletico Madrid for around £13 million. I think he had one year left in his contract or something like that. And it's a very good sign for Inter Milan. Also opens up a new perfect link with a Juan Jesus. And uh, finally, on this page, we've got Budaboos, who has joined Montpellier. And that fee then is around £1.5 million from Bastia. And now we have got another big one this time it's Douglas Costa finally making that move to Bayern Munich on a permanent for 30 million pounds it's a great one for FIFA and also I see it as probably a Ribery replacement over the next couple of years because apparently Ribery is actually contemplating retiring which would be a massive shame uh, they have actually bought a, a replacement you could say um, already prepared for that and now we have got uh, we've got Sylvan Distan joining the Premier League new boys Bournemouth he left Everton last season after getting released and now uh, Bournemouth have snapped him up he brings a lot of Premier League experience formerly of Manchester City and a fair few years at Everton 
draft him, we're going to go with Imbula, who has made the switch to FC Porto. Now, the fee was 20 million euros, and Marseille seem to have to be selling a lot of players as of late. They are bringing in a few names as well, but Imbula was linked to the likes of AC Milan, Interman, and also a fair few Premier League clubs. So I'm surprised with that one, but it's a good signing for Porto. And then we've got Nathaniel Klein, who again is a fine Liverpool player for 12.5 million pounds. Personally, I'm very happy about this one. We've actually replaced Glenn Johnson, who is shite, with Nathaniel Klein, who is uh, one of the up and coming right backs in the Premier League. And now we have got uh, Negredo, who's made the switch to um, Valencia on a permit now after spending last season out on loan there. I don't actually know the fee, but I heard something like 30 million euros or something like that, which is absolutely ridiculous. And now we've got a Watford sign, who is Vidra. And now he is actually officially a Watford player. After having a few loan spells there from Udinese over the last couple of years, I know he's actually a fan favourite, and uh, now they've made his uh, loan on a permanent basis, which is good for them, good sign for them. And uh, finally, we've got Adair. The beast from like FIFA 13 or FIFA 14 has now signed for Swansea. And the fee then is undisclosed, but I think it's around 5 million euros, guys. So enjoy this video. Smash a like button. 2,000 likes would be absolutely awesome. In the comments below, the only thing has been the best signing of this episode. You've got a lot to choose from as well. And if you to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content, guys. So thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you next time.